Turkish defense company BMC has confirmed that deliveries of the first Altay T-1 main battle tanks will begin this year, marking a major step in Turkey's long-delayed indigenous tank program. The development follows earlier setbacks caused by embargoes on German MTU engines and rank transmissions. BMC told defense publication Shepard Media that, we hope to announce the delivery of the new Altay MBT very soon referring to the T-1 configuration powered by a South Korean 1,500-horsepower DV-27K diesel engine and EST-15K transmission. The company stressed that this solution addresses delays experienced during local engine development. According to the current production roadmap, 85 units of the Altay T-1 will be delivered out of a 250-tank order with the remaining 165 to be manufactured as Altay T-2s featuring the indigenous Batu engine. The Turkish defense industry president Hayluk Gorgun announced in February 2025 that three Altay tanks would enter the inventory during 2025. The planned schedule sets deliveries of three units in 2025, 11 in 2026, 41 in 2027, and 30 in 2028, completing the T-1 batch. From 2028 onwards, the Altay T-2 is expected to enter service, equipped with the 1,500-horsepower Batu engine currently undergoing final testing by BMC Power. The Altay program is presented as the most concrete step towards Turkey's goal of eliminating foreign dependency in armored platforms. BMC continues its design and testing efforts to meet this objective and provide a fully indigenous solution for the Turkish Land Forces Command. Named after General Fahreddin Altay, the 65-ton third-generation tank is designed to compete with models such as the M1 Abrams and Leopard 2. It is equipped with a 120mm L55 smoothbore cannon made by MKE, Rocket Sands modular composite armor, and a Selsons a core active protection system providing 360-degree defense. The vehicle has a top speed of 65 km per hour, an operational range of 450 kilometers and operates in temperatures from minus 32 degrees celsius to plus 52 degrees celsius its advanced fire control systems and network centric capabilities are designed to increase combat effectiveness across varied operational environments